Hey, I'm Josh from Vacuums R Us, and I'm going to show you how to maintain and, and how to physically set up your robot vacuum that you've gotten from Vacuums R Us. I do want to note, your vacuum probably does not have eyeballs on it. That's not a defect. We just got creative here in our showrooms, okay? So this is super easy, super, super, super easy. Your lid right here is going to pop right off. Inside, you have a, a little dirt compartment right here. This will simply pull out. You have a small filter. You pop that lid off. You have a small filter right here. You see that we've been using it. This filter you can vacuum off with your full-size vacuum cleaner that I'm sure you got from Vacuums R Us. And this is where your debris is gonna collect and you simply dump that out. Super, super simple. All right, so on the bottom side of this, we have a couple different cleaning methods, right? One thing I really like about these particular vacuums is they don't have a rotating brush. It's super problematic with robot vacuums because they wrap hair like crazy. It has these brushes which spin and will push the debris into the suction area right here. These brushes will pop off because they can actually wrap hair. You kind of have to pull on them pretty hard and you can wrap a little bit of hair right here. So it's not a bad idea to pull that off every once in a while and clean it out. And they simply pressure fit. If you're using your robot vacuum strictly for bare floor, then you can use this little mop pad and it just snaps right there on the back. And then it comes off for cleaning and you can actually pull that off. It's Velcro, it's a microfiber pad. You can just throw it in the wash. Here in our showrooms, because we have mixed throw rugs, we have short pile throw rugs, as well as a lot of this LVT hard surface. We don't leave this on here because this will stick to carpet when it gets on the carpet. So the instruction manual on this machine will tell you to remove these brushes if you're using carpet. For us, because we have very low pile carpets, um, mats and that type of thing, we actually leave these on and we found these work pretty well on those really thin, thin throw rugs. If you have slightly thicker rugs though, these aren't going to work great. They're going to kind of bog the machine down and you're going to want to take them off. That's really all there is to maintaining your robot vacuum. Um, you got your dirt cup there and you got your brushes down there. We're going to post another video here how to set it up, set up the application, which will allow you to time it, uh, will allow you to control it like a remote control, like a, like a little car, um, and uh, really get the full functionality out of this machine.